I use intuition to connect to the energy of places in my work as a house healer. Sometimes that means I hear the voice of my spirit guide. That's what we're looking at today, our intuitive connection to these guides and to those voices that we can sometimes hear in our heads. But what has that got to do with you and geopathic stress? My name's Tim Walter. I'm a house healer and an alternative life coach. I help people create improved well-being by reducing geopathic stress in their homes and connecting them to their intuition for a new understanding of life. We use a mixture of meditation, mindfulness and dowsing. So if you want to nurture a practical, spiritual and intuitive viewpoint on life, click subscribe, click the grey bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video or do a live Q&A. Some of you will know that my life was changed completely by encountering the spirit of a deceased lady in a house that we used to live in way back in 1998. Over the years that followed, I developed relationships with spirit guides, most of whom are still with me. And my main guide is Merlin, who I know by the name of Merthen. When I'm dousing people's houses, it's him that tells me what's going on or who gives me intuitive insight as pictures. It feels like I'm working with somebody else in my body, but that's because I have trained hard over a number of years to work with trance energy and to build that relationship so that we trust each other implicitly. Sometimes the voices we can all experience in our heads aren't so friendly. These can be voices of ourselves. They can come from our subconscious. For example, people that suffer from bipolar can hear in their low moods voices castigating them. At times of high stress, this sort of thing is far more likely to occur. The mainstream medical profession regards hearing voices as a symptom of schizophrenia, but there are also quite a number of diagnoses in which voices can be heard like this that don't indicate schizophrenia. So if you're hearing voices that are not pleasant, don't be scared of approaching a doctor for help. It doesn't mean you're going mad. If you are being bothered by voices that are saying unpleasant things or suggesting that you do things that are not in your normal character, even if they're not directly bad, then tell the voices to go away. Treat them as though they were another person. Tell them to be quiet and even swear at them if you must. Also, ask a protective energy such as the Archangel Michael or maybe even the Holy Jesus to ask them to remove the offending energy from you. So hopefully, any voices that you might hear will be rather more friendly than that and they may be inquisitive. They may offer advice or simply comment on what you're doing. But the key thing is, they don't sound or feel like your ordinary day-to-day -day internal voice. If this is happening to you, then it may be that you're hearing your spirit guides. But don't just jump in and accept everything they say. You could be picking up a trickster energy. So the best thing is, tell the voices to go away, see what happens in your life over the weeks that follow once you'd started hearing those voices. Assume that those voices have stopped because you've told them to go away. Remain as grounded as possible, but just be observant as to what is manifest in your world around you. The thing is here is that you're connecting the previous occurrence of the voices to the reality of your now. The two things are not separate. You're choosing to close the door temporarily upon spirit personalities that want to talk to you. Instead, what you're doing is offering them a chance to show you their presence in other ways, and that's through the world around you. So, what you're doing is being safe. You're being sensible. You're simply asking them, spirit, to wait until you're ready to allow them to make direct contact with you, but you're doing so on your own terms. By watching what happens in your world, you're asking the universe to show you how you can interact on a safe level. You're accepting the offer, their offer, to interact with the energies of creation. Most importantly, you are giving yourself time in which to adjust and adapt to your new perspective on reality. Sometimes when a house is affected by geopathic stress, it's because the world of spirit is trying to get through to those who are living in that house. 
What they want is for them to become more aware and open to the possibility of spirit energy. This is why sometimes suddenly things start to change. Well, suddenly the people in the house start to experience strange things. Any voices that may arrive in your head are not to be feared. They are a part of you, part of your experience of being alive. But you must only allow yourself to be led by voices you agree with and you are not allowing them to ever control what you do. You never invite them more deeply inside your own energy without completely understanding what you're doing. You must always know exactly who you are speaking to and who you are interacting with. And that takes time and patience. If you're seriously troubled by voices, then you should seek the experience and help of a trained medical practitioner. We live in a time when such experience and training are available and not to refer to them when necessary would be simply irresponsible. But any voices you hear that are friendly and helpful, if you follow the simple instructions that I suggested earlier on, you can embark upon a very safe and ultimately incredibly rewarding way of seeing the whole world around you differently. And in doing so, change much of what might have been the causes of unwanted stress before this experience happened. I hope this has been of some help. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care. Thank you.